Kisi Governor James Ongwai is before the Senate County's Public Accounts and Investment Committee to answer to audit queries. Ongwai is explaining his budgetary allocations and expenditure for this year, for the year 2017-2018. His grilling comes just days after his Kiambu counterpart Ferdinand Waititu appeared before the same committee with shocking revelations on how his government spent millions on state house affairs, peacekeeping in South Sudan and several national functions. The governor a time frame maybe 14 days or two weeks so that they can send the responses so that it uh, maybe in seven days to go to the to, to the auditor so that they send to the committee because uh, i think we've also excused someone else before well, yeah, uh, i might uh, consider the last request but the, the, the first one the basis uh, the governor is a chief executive officer anybody else called accounting officer in statute accounts to the governor because you are described as chief executive officer in the constitution and that is we have had a governor coming here asking us why must i respond to procurement issues you are wasting my time and i think that's a kind of governor who should be impeached for idiocy and for not looking at the constitution and statute so even where your people have failed you in putting together the papers if you are to be taken to the dock it will be the ceo alongside the chief officer or the uh, reporting guy who failed. So I, I think let's not sure. encourage the governor to feel that he can pass the buck to others. He takes that responsibility. Senator Lekina, sure. then professor will give us a way forward. Chair, I, I have a big issue with what the governor has just stated when he talks about responses to the management letter. The law does not envision a situation where you take two years to respond to management queries. In fact, when you look at the Public Audit Act, Section 314, it gives you exactly 14 days to be able to respond to the issues raised by the auditors and give the way forward in terms of remedial action. So really, it is not your people who have failed, it is you, the governor of Kisi, who has failed. And if you notice, you did not spend, you did not absorb over 1.2 billion shillings during that year. The same same year, you had over 1.24 billion shillings in unpaid debt. So what are you telling us? You cannot bring documents because you did not put them together? Or is it because you just did not want to work on that year? So really, uh, Chair, I don't know how you're going to excuse this... Uh, total disregard of the rule of law and what do you call it laziness or what is the word to use because how am I going to sit here and look at 2018 2017 2018 yet a lot of problems started from 2016 2017 I think you have to find a way to reprimand the governor for failing to submit those documents when they are required the leader of KC delegation in the Senate chair I think when there is a gap in the books of accounts, obviously it presents some difficulties. But I will suggest to this committee, since we are dealing with 2017-2018, and we were requiring written submissions for the other ensuing years of audit, 2015-16, 16-17, I was going to suggest that in your ruling that you require the governor of Kisi County to present those reports of the past years because they have a direct rele uh, relevance to the current audit report which is before us 2017-2018 so that we go ahead and prosecute the events which are here before us while pending for the other two previous years so that we can fill in the gaps and when we go to write the report, we can then be able to draw out from this uh, other previous years once they've been cleared by the auditor. It will be my humble submission at this stage so that we don't waste so much time at this level of preliminaries but we go to the substance of the whole thing and then we are able to prosecute this matter accordingly. In light of uh, the submissions from my colleagues, I want to give directions as follows, that uh, this committee... Uh,